Hello all, this is episode 9 of Hillock Venom Mage. We're in the final round of the Crawl Sudden Death Challenges Tournament I'm Ultraviolent 4. We're currently at a bit of a crossroads in this run. So we're in we're in Pan. We're trying to get our first rune here. And I want to say this character situation is not looking real good. We have no business being in Pan. We have no heal wounds, three potions of haste. We have no blinking scrolls. We have no MR, no negative energy resistance, no R poison, no RLEC, and random rage, among other things. <laughs> oh god. Uh, yep. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we have landed up in Holy Pan. Now, I've been talking to Man Man about what we should be doing here. So. Holy Pan is in some ways a very scary and dangerous floor. Um, Davis are really rough enemies. Uh, the Seraph, who's the boss, who's guarding this, is also a very difficult enemy. Um, plus, this floor is just huge and it can take a very long time to clear. So, the question was, do we just want to leave? Or do we say, probably... <laughs> This is uh, blah, blah, blah. so a bit of context that you might need. Um, Holy Pan Floor is already, always guaranteed to give you the demonic rune. So we could get a rune here. So the question is, do we say that this, even though it's a very difficult floor, might be one of the better floors for this character to do? There are no fiends. Um, <laughs> there's nothing that affects your MR, etc. Uh, nothing that requires you to have lots of resistances. Whereas, say, imagine us trying to fight um, Glocks. We have no torment resistance whatsoever, and we don't even have our poison. So, we're going to die to Glocks almost 100%. 100%. So, if we leave this floor, um, yeah, things, things could get a whole lot worse. And the idea would be just rush in, grab the rune, Unfortunately, there's no guaranteed exit um, to leave Pan. How it works is if you've got the demonic rune already, you get an exit, but if not, you don't. So I think we will have to continue going to more Pan floors after this, but then we'll be looking to leave. And we can backtrack. We can, well, we have to go kill Goyon, but we can go do our, our um, snake and our swamp and sort of catch up a bit. <laughs> So we're not so far behind in terms of our experience, our loot, and what we're, we're fighting. So I think that it is correct that we do want to try to get this rune. Because being in Pan is really, really, really scary. Another thing which I forgot to mention is we only have four curing potions. Which, considering um, Kako Demons have confusion, we might need those. And also we don't have our poison, so it's our way to get rid of... Um, being poisoned, I don't like that either. So I think we do this. Everything, the more I think about this and the more that I talk about it, the more I think the correct option is to get this rune and then try to get out of pan. And I mean, even if it takes us quite a while in terms of turns, it still is probably the best thing for our chances at winning. Because, I don't know, any other option probably has a higher chance in us just dying. So we are going to do it. Uh, I would also, I would love to get a Pearl Dragon Scales or attempt one, uh, but I don't know that we'll be doing that. There's a Pearl Dragon sort of lair at the bottom. Man, it's a scary place to be though. Uh, we can fight the Seraph with Smites, so we're okay with killing the Seraph. It's just more fighting all the different um, Davis, I can never remember their name. Um, and unfortunately we can't dig here. So normally, normally you can dig. Actually, you know what? It might be, um, it might be better to just walk around our troll of the armor here. Um, so there shouldn't be fire enemies unless 
they're holding fire branded weapons, flaming branded. Um, and most of the enemies here don't hit that hard in terms of AC. The Davis are more because they're smiting you. I don't know, we'll see how we go, but it's possible that we could be switching and then trying to walk around with passage and having a higher regen rate. I'm gonna wait. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm real scared. Uh, another thing to note about Holy Pan is that enemies infinitely spawn here forever. So if you take a long time, they'll keep coming back. It's not like you can clear it and then there'll be no more enemies. Oh yeah, so we can't even fight these angels very easily. Wow, that's scary. Okay, so the plan is just run in, smite the Seraph to death, grab the rune and then leave. Uh, oh no, there's a Zot Trap there. Uh, in order to leave, we will have to come back and clear this little exit bit. So, uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. It's not quite as simple as I make it sound. Um, I don't need to be walking him all the way back. The orphan's not really threatening. Uh, and we don't take damage from the, the blessed fire. Um, so these little corner rooms have loot. I don't know, there's so much stuff that our character needs. I'm tempted. Oh, a summoning, uh, a blinking scroll. Definitely worth. Oh man. Oh, that's our Berserk Eye. So it's like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> uh, that's our random rage. Uh, at the same time that we got given uh, a group of orcs. I wonder, do we want a Sacred Scourge? Um, if we ever get orcs with us in the the um, extended game, them having holy weapons would be really good. Plus, also, I can just use a Sacred Scourge. We have 10 maces and flails based on cross training. I'm just going to pick that up. We might give it away, we might use it. Okay, we're slowed. Uh, let's do some things that we can do when we're slowed then. Um, well, we might want a Staff of Wizardry. We've been using the Ring of Wizardry, but maybe in the future we want to switch that ring out. It's just that we don't really have any rings to use. I think maybe we can drop a Polymorph one. We have Paralysis as a better Hex wand. Uh, also, this guy Grimold has been named, so why don't I give him? Oh, I don't have five pips of piety. I can't give him a weapon. Okay, rip. Oh, we do have our poison on a chainmail. Okay, so maybe we could. It doesn't help us. We'd still die. We have no torment resistance. I'm talking about fighting Glocks. What else can we drop? I like how the potion of Berserker Rage is greyed out. <laughs> it's just because I'm randomly angry. That's fine. Okay, anyway, we got a blinking scroll, so that was fantastic. I'm just checking, I actually picked it up. Okay, that, believe it or not, makes a huge difference to our survivability. Uh, also, having all these random orcs around, because it can just put bodies in front of us while we potentially smite the Seraph to death. Man, this slow is running forever. There we go. Oh, wait, the, the entrance is over here. That's the only way in. Oh, I'm going for the treasure room. Okay, well, I'm half the way there. If it's another blinking scroll, it will be worth it. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, though. 
That was an accident. Oh, you can come in from behind. Uh, yeah, okay, that's all right. Um, some food and a glowing glaive. Go orcs. God, these things are so hard to hit. Do I care about the food? Uh, a little bit, because I'm also regenerating, so that's okay. Um, I probably don't care about a ruined glaive. Alright, here we go, we've got multiple angels coming. Did our orc die to the blessed flame? Why does that hurt them? Also, this is three angels at once. Oh, because he has bolts of fire, that's why. It wasn't the flame, it was the bolt of fire. Ah, so you do need RF in here, right. Also, these angels, <laughs> we are losing two. <laughs> this is where, oh my god. See, they have minor healing and they're extremely evasive. This is where it really helps to have Vile Clutch because uh, when you constrict an enemy, you lower their evasion. God. He just keeps healing. <laughs> Does the Blessed Flame heal him? That might be the case. Maybe that's what's going on. Is that how you spell it? Blessed fire. Okay, yeah, the game doesn't know what that is. Oh. Seems like the orcs do maybe get hurt standing in it though. Let me look at the message log. Was the angel healing from the fire? It just says it's healing somewhat. And it's after the angel was gesturing, so I think he was just using his heal over and over again. Oh, I've got five pips of piety. Alright, uh, Grimald, take a trident. So you have a pole arm. I'm real scared. I don't know that this is the right way to go in because running away means we're in this hallway. I don't know, maybe it's fine. We can always haste away. Seraphs are really fast though. Uh, speed 15, okay. You can still run away from them with haste. Well, you're the same speed. Alright, let's go. Um, since she's probably going to want to chat when I'm recording, yep. It's a very old school Australian player from back in the day. Alright. Oh, this is a treasure room too. Okay, so it looks like we do have to go in the front. Alright, never mind. Unless I keep doing more treasure, <laughs> I could go all the way around and do all the treasure rooms, but I don't know, we're still going for the win, right? Oh, but there's so much this character needs. No, we should just, we should just try to win. <laughs> Don't worry about loot. We'll find plenty more loot as we go. Cherub, he's a ranged enemy. Uh, the main thing that he does that's scary is that he has battle cries, so he mites other angels. But he, his attacks on their own are not that bad. Oh, we went random raged. Oh god, if this Seraph turns up now, I don't think it would. This rage is going forever. That was a extremely long random rage. Alright, being slowed here is nice because it actually means we're swinging our scroll of fog at 2.3.
So we're getting huge amounts of healing. Sweet. Um, unfortunately, we don't have time to heal up our orcs. Um, so if I were playing normally, we would rest here, but alas. Uh, that's an Apis. They're just a melee enemy. They go for 40. Yep. They have holy attacks, so they're threatening if you're undead. But we should be fine. Oh, I'm scared. Alright, let's back up, friends. Uh, let me look at the Seraph again. So they're 15, they're fast, they hit for 50 and 20. Their main scary thing though is that they um, they summon other angels, including Davis. Uh And then those all smite you like crazy. Uh, I don't think that halo is behind us, I think it's just there's something holy here and it's just we're seeing it through the wall. That's how that works. Alright, let's back up. Oh, we went orphan behind us. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Grimald should follow me. I don't really care about the priest who's being stupid. Oh, okay. Grimald isn't following me. Uh, let me recall him. He gives me significantly more DPS, so it is in my best interest to keep him alive. Um, I am getting hurt, hurt by this file. Alright, let's get out of it. Uh, and let's, oh, I shouldn't have gone to eat the Apis. Mm. Okay, that was a mistake. An uncursed amulet of rage. Uh, that that angel could have berserked. I don't know. I'm assuming angels can berserk. Thankfully, he didn't. Oh God, I don't want to see more angels right now. Uh, I should probably leave that door open because if I'm running away from a seraph, I don't want to die because I'm stuck at the door. This is also scary. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go, Grimald. I wonder if you can become a warlord. There's our Seraph, who immediately gets hasted by the Cherub. That's okay. Uh, so our plan is just to smite him to death. Uh, we're up to five pips of piety, so we can smite all the way down to one pip. So I'm not worried about running out, it's just whether the fast Seraph is going to get on top of us with its might and kill us before we can smite it to death. Let's do one and see. Let me get the right enemy. Alright, that's fine. What did this... What did the Seraph do then? Begins to accept its allies' injuries. Okay, so he's going to take damage on behalf of the other enemies. That's fine. That's a useless ability. As far as I'm concerned, oh god, that's way too many angels though. Um, <laughs> this is what I mean. Although fortunately they're all angels and not devas. Because the angels at least have to hit in melee, whereas the devas can smite. But wow. Alright, do I need haste here? I might need haste here. We've only got three, but there's a lot of damage incoming real soon. I would love to keep my haste. Oh god.
in like two turns, we're going to have a bunch of mitered angels on top of us. And the Seraph has already taken two smites and hasn't lost that much HP. I think these guys are massive tanks. <laughs> so realistically, it's going to take another four smites to kill it. Mm, it's probably okay. Yeah, okay, I think it's okay. That smite did a lot more damage. Yeah, we're going to take him down without the haste. One more. One more. Alright, got him. Okay, not so bad. We've still got two mitered angels. Um, it's probably okay. Although I wish they had that one had stayed in the door, so only one was attacking me at once. Um, okay, we'll see how this goes. This might be a situation where I quaff another brilliance, and we use a vile clutch. We'll see how we go. Hmm, it took a lot of damage. My other option is I could just smite these angels as well. No, no, it's scary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna brilliance and then Valkotch. We took a lot of damage. All right, that now does damage over time, um, and lowers their evasion. Is this going to be enough? Maybe I now regret the fact that I didn't haste. The other thing to note is that regular angels um, have our elect, so our broad axe of elect isn't as powerful against them. I'm going to step back a tile. Uh, because then only one at a time is going to be able to attack us, because the other one is still trapped in or was still trapped in clutch. Uh, I don't like this, I wish I had hasted. The other scary thing here is that if my if my random rage triggers here, we're stuck fighting no matter what we do. I wish I just had a lamp of fire. <laughs> Man, wouldn't this suck to, to take down the Seraph and then just to die to random angels afterwards? Okay, how fast are angels? Speed 15, so I could haste and run from him as well. I think we're okay. He's taking this real slow. He's he keeps hitting Grimold instead of me, which is good for me, but real sad for Grimold. And both angels are mited again. Okay, so I think maybe we can't do this. I think we might have to haste away. I really don't want to though. Uh, what if I Agi? All right, I'm gonna Agi. All right, Grimold died. That's Unfortunate for him, although he was um, absorbing damage for us, but um, Grimmel couldn't have an F. Okay, I'm risking random rage here. Is that is that something I want to do? Okay, let's use a smite on one. He healed. Oh god. <laughs> this is all because I just want to save my haste. 
Uh, and also because of, uh, that's not quite true. It's also because I'm afraid of random rage triggering. Um, I don't know how many, if there are other enemies in there. So if I random rage at this point, could be in for a real world of hurt. I really don't want to use my only potion of magic. It would have to be a haste. And then we... Mm, I still don't know. Say we haste. How do we kill them? I don't know that we can. Because we can run away at the same speed as them. So we'd be running away as they chase us. But then what? I still have to kill them at some point. I guess we'd leave the cherubs behind. Because they're not fast. And then they would stop being mited. But as we run away, we might meet other angels anyway. So I guess, I guess we keep fighting and I can haste and run away if need be. I don't know, we could die here. Um, if I step back, they're going to have to break Vile Clutch, so I'll gain a turn and maybe then I can haste. Uh, do I want to? I think with Agi, we'd have to get incredibly unlucky to die in a single turn, but then we would have to haste. No, I think I better haste now. We'll only have two left, but I don't know. I can see this situation going very badly. Yeah, okay. I think we do need a run. Okay, every time I get three magic points, I can smite one. Yeah, and I just really hope we don't meet any more holy enemies behind us. The angel has healed somewhat. We just met a new one. Alright, now what? Mm, okay, I wish I had stayed to fight now. Now what? Do I have summoning scrolls? No. Okay. I definitely, I cannot teleport. You do not want to teleport in Holy Pan. Um, I can promise you of that. So then how am I going to kill these guys? Ah, oh, mistakes were made. I should have just hasted originally against the Seraph and we would have been fine. If I just if I had been hasted to fight the Seraph, then we would have started fighting these angels. We still would have been hasted, and we would have just killed them. But because I tried to hold it, I had to haste in this situation where we're now trying to escape for our life, which doesn't help. And in doing so, we've met more angels. Okay, a play I have here is to quaff our only magic potion and then just smite everyone. That sucks, but I think might be the play. Because I think we're dying otherwise. Um, because I mean, all right, so I, I could run, all right? I'm as fast as these angels. I could skip this one and we could run, but then what? We're running. We're just running up here. We're wasting turns. We're potentially meeting new enemies again. And then what? We can't go anywhere. So I don't think running helps me. I may as well try to fight while I at least am hasted and agid. Alright, I'm going to quaff magic. I don't like this, but I don't see us fighting this stuff otherwise. So we're going to just start smiting the angels. Alright, that angel back there is just throwing rocks and then just dying to our reflection. It's pretty great. How much do cherubs do? 15 plus a hunting sling plus they're both mited. Uh, that's not too dangerous. We don't have heal wounds though. Um, well, I probably just run at them. Oh god. Okay, they pulled out fashions of flaming, both of them. Um, I'm still, wait, I'm still brilliant. I'm still brilliant. Um, I 
I can bow clutch them. Is that worth? Oh my god, another angel coming. Otherwise, we've got 18 magic points, so we can do 6 smites. <laughs> uh, I think I don't Vile Clutch. Um, but are these guys going to kill us? They hit for 15, plus a Scimitar, and Peck for 8, plus they're both mited. They're not fast, right? So I, I can run from them, but they're... They have ranged weapons, so I don't know, it doesn't help me much. I have a blinking scroll. We can blink if we need to. Does that help? Not really. Alright, I'm just gonna have to hope... I mean, we're agid. It would... It would suck if we just died, but I think it's unlikely for us to die in one turn. Alright, we closely... We missed one, the other one blocked. Blocked. They both blocked my attack. See, shields are OP, this is what I tell you. Oh, we are also hasted. Okay, that's... that's okay. Well, it's not okay, but... Okay, maybe in that case, I should be doing this. Oh no, now we are dying. This is really bad, actually. How do you die to cherubs? If I Val Clutch, I'll have 13 magic points left, which is another 4 smites. Otherwise... I have Passage of Gulubria, and with Brilliance we can use that. So the thing is, I don't know what other enemies, if any, are in here. Um, so the problem is, is if I run into this room, we might be meeting more things. So an option I have is to passage up, just run into the room, I don't know, try to grab the the thing and then what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what my plant. Hope there are heal wounds in there. <laughs> Hope there's like a summoning scroll or something which gets me out of this. Show me passage again. 2% to fail. Wait. 4% to fail. I'm going to passage. I'm going to try to buy some space. That's a terrible passage because I have to allow them to hit me twice. Damn it. That's terrible. No, that passage is no good. It's no good, Holmes. I'm trying to save our one blinking scroll. I don't know that we can. I think at this point I do blink up and then just run. Try to grab the rune and then run out the other way. <laughs> Problem is, if one of these enemies steps on this passage, they'll passage up here. <laughs> so they'll be on top of us again. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't know. I think that's our play. Rip our blinking scroll. It didn't last long. Oh god, we're blocking it. Uh, it's an orphan. Let me just check what they have. Bolt of fire, right? How much damage is your bolt of fire? Three D twenty four, so he could almost kill us. I think I just smite him to death, so I can just keep running. Oh god! Okay, good. Please, no more. If there's a um, 
If there's a... Why do I always forget their name? If there's a Daver in here, I'm gonna cry. Oh, it's all absurd. Again, I take it back to just that seraph. <clears throat> okay, Dave is not fast. I'm still fast. I can read a fog, buy some turns to quaff an ambrosia to give myself some more HP and some more magic. I think that's my play. Um, I could also preemptively put a passage up to force the enemies to come into me, into the fog, and then I passage away, but that's probably pushing it too much. Um, alright, we're going to do that play. It's our last fog as well. Yeah, we take the smite, and we have a terrible fog that's not actually concealing anything. Damn it. Alright, that's actually terrible. Mm. Okay, we're at the point where we can get two shot by the Deva now. Uh, see, if I if I step to the right to get in the fog, um, I'm then opening myself up to the cherub. Uh, I didn't think about that. I should have stepped here first and then done it so that I could step back into the fog. All right, that's a mistake. All right, well now, now what? I think now we might be at the point where, no, see, I'm not gonna kill him in two smites. I'd need, I'd need three smites at least to kill him, I think. Definitely can't teleport. Let's look at our inventory. Yeah, I think we're dying here. I think we're dying, friends. I can still teleport, but I think that's very foolish. I can shoot I can shoot him with a file of floods that will make even more noise. Okay, let's see. The char the cherubs are slow actually. Um if I step one to the right. I don't think they can see me. Okay, that one can see me. Um, okay. Damn it. And the angel's coming. Alright, I was hoping if I Ambrosia now, I can buy myself a couple of turns to get more magic points and more HP. I mean, we're still... We're still hasted. I think I'm going to do that. I think if I have more magic points, I can sort of smite my way out of this. Although we're only at three pips of piety, so there's not much smiting left to be done, but all the same. Okay, so I'm going to quaff Aji here. I'm going to hope. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe reading a teleport here might actually be our best play. Like, that's crazy. There's This floor is huge. There are so many places we could land in the middle of angels. Um, I mean, we still have another haste, but we don't have any heal wounds. We don't have any blinking. We don't have anything else. How much damage do they do again? 15 plus the hunting sling, and he's mited, so 
1.5 times damage. Another play I could do is I could quaff flight. I could fly, I could haste over the water. It would buy me a couple of turns from the cherub and it would give me a couple more turns to quaff ambrosia. I think maybe that might be better. It gives him it gives him two sh turns to shoot me, but the problem is him shooting me when I'm ambrosia is even worse. God, we're really doing this. Oh, he didn't hit me, thank God. He's singing a powerful hymn, so he's not shooting me. Oh God, we're blocking them. Okay. Oh God, I really don't see this working. Uh, let's go up one more. Oh, the fog is spreading. I walked back into the thing, but fortunately the fog is still spreading. All right. Okay, we're still hasted. We've got We've got a Deva coming as well as a bunch of mitered enemies, but I've got probably one, two, three turns here to quaff an Ambrosia and try to get a little bit of HP back and some magic points. I also could, I could just, I could read the teleport and I could quaff the Ambrosia now and just hope that we land out here. Okay, is that better? Okay, the thing is, I know there's not an exit in here. I know there's not an exit. So even if I even if I make it out of this rune or even if I get to this rune and get the rune, I'm still going to have to fight my way out. And how do I fight my way out? <laughs> oh man. I just, I feel like the odds of a teleport are just worse. I mean, if we got extremely lucky and we landed over here, okay, we might live. But there's so much area and anywhere we land is going to be worse than this almost certainly. The other problem is that these cherubs are going to might the day well. But I guess that doesn't matter too much. It's the... It's a smite that's going to kill us. Alright. My extra speed's running out, so we're about to lose our haste. So I think we're really in trouble. Well, I think I'm not going to teleport. I'm going to try to fight my way out. So I'm going to quaff Ambrosia here. I'm going to try to get back some magic points and some hit points. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. I think there's... A really, 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 really high chance that we are dying here. And I think it all stems back to the fact that I just didn't haste at the beginning of that Seraph fight. Okay, they're coming. Alright, well we gotta get rid of the Ambrosia, so I gotta cure. Which I guess is a small bit of healing as well. Alright, now what? You know what I could do here, actually? Our haste is running out, but we have random blinks. And there aren't many tiles we could go to, so maybe if we landed here, we can haste and buy some more time. As long as we don't land like one of these two. Alright, I think... I think that's probably a better play than trying to run past this. We just need to get a lucky blink. Uh, that's not terrible. Our haste just ran out. Um, well, we're definitely hasting. Okay, we're still alive. Let's run. Oh, there's another. There's another often. Okay, well, he's not going to want to shoot me like this because then the 
then his bolt of fire is going to hit the angel behind me. So I keep running. There are two of them. Great. Don't bolt to fire me, bro. Don't bolt to fire me, bro. Um, okay, I think the play... Oh, we're hasted, right? These guys aren't fast. Is this a door? No. Alright, we've got a couple of options here. I could passage and hope that we can get up there. By the way, at this point we we have to teleport out. We're, we've got no choice, but I'm hoping that we can just get the, the rune before we teleport out. Oh god. Okay, so I could, I could just run. I could read... I have no more fog. Okay, so I could just run and use our speed over the often, who's regular speed. And just hope that he doesn't bolt to fire and kill us. We only have one RF as well, so he could definitely kill us. I think he does like 60 damage. His bolt to fire is 48, so he can't one shot us. Okay, so we can take two shots. So I either passage or I just run up there. Problem with passage is if I get it to pop down here, that's giving more turns for more things to happen. I'm just going to run. That's okay. Oh, there's another one in here. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, that one missed. We're still agid. Okay. So I think what I do here is I read my teleport, I just try to grab the rune, and I hope I just land out here. Um, otherwise, I could quaff a curing here, it would give me a slight bit of heal, that's probably better, so we go out of run sh one shot range again. Alright, uh, and as for these artifact rings, we're probably not going to get to have them, but anyway, alright, here goes! <laughs> oh boy, who wants to live? Can we get a, a lucky teleport? I don't think it's happening, but I don't know. Maybe we're going to get out of this one. Um, at least if we grab the rune, we get an extra point. Um, although at that point, I think I'm fairly far down the tables. Can I have a look? Where are we on the standings? Alright, if we die right now, I would be fourth. Okay. Which wouldn't be a, a horrible effort, but... All right, we're going to teleport. At this point, there's zero chance we're fighting back out of this. Read the teleport. Okay, let's... Oh, we're going to die here for sure. Uh, at this point, I just... I think we just quaff curing just for a slight bit of heal so we can hopefully live before our teleport kicks in. We've got two of these offens or offenim as they're called. So there's no way I'm getting away from them. There's no way I can do much about um, not dying to bolt of fire. I could quaff a resistance to get a second pip of RF, but I feel like that's not enough anyway. So I think I just cure. I'm shutting my eyes. We feel better, we didn't get shot. Could we please have the teleport now? I'm going to cure again. We feel better. We still don't have the teleport. Could we have the teleport, please? Now what do I do? We don't have anything. Um, random blink doesn't help me. Uh, they're both to fire six range. I guess technically if I blinked over there, I'd be out of range of one. But I might also land next to the angel and get hit. I'm going to blink anyway. Oh, I got a perfect blink. We got the teleport. I don't see any enemies. Oh, God. Okay, how do we do this? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> We're still alive. Oh, my God. All right. Um, I'm having a break now. i got to stop. If I do anything right now, we're definitely dying. All right. See you next time.